recall inviting you to turn my house into a mosh pit. Can't take credit for that. Oh, yeah? You get your goons to do the heavy lifting? By the way, nice touch on the uh, lights out. You think I'm responsible for rolling blackouts throughout the whole city? I wouldn't be surprised. Actually, you know what? I don't care. But I'm sure the police will be very interested. I'm sure they're going to be interested in your house guest as well. What house guest? It's just a souvenir from a female admirer, so what? I bought this for Julia. I found it in the attic, along with some of her other stuff. Why don't you give your mouth a rest till the cops get here? But we have so much to talk about. You're hiding a fugitive, interfering with a police investigation. Etc. Etc. So go ahead, call the police, make your phone call. You know something? You should be grateful that Julia came to me, an old friend, somebody who's capable of doing something for her. Julia is not here anymore. Maybe it's because the old friend started protecting his ex-wife. What do you think? I think you're upset because as soon as Julia realized that you can do a damn thing for all those points you were going to score with Maria just evaporated. Well, it's not my problem. I don't care. Get over it and get out. Where is she? When's the last time you saw her? She'll come back. She won't come back. And you know she won't come back. Because once she realized that Dixie is your priority, uh, she knew she didn't stand a chance. It, it doesn't have anything to do with priorities, okay? I care about Julia. I care about what happens to her. Huh. I fully intend to protect them both. It's kind of an ambidextrous thing. Dixie wrote a letter. She stashed it somewhere. Now, and in it, she says who the dragon really is and what his name is. Now, she denied it. You backed her up, even though you knew it was a lie. You know, she lied because you kidnapped her. You scared her half to death, so she created some mythic letter that names names because she wanted to protect herself from you. Hmm. To be opened in the event of my death. This is signed by Dixie. You interested? Come on, Tad. You're not interested? See what, what she wrote in this, huh? What the dragon is? You. Oh, you come up with this all by yourself? I was making a point. You know there's a letter, and you want as badly as I do. Why can't we work together and try and figure something out? Not a chance. Wow. Really must be love, because you can't be that stupid. Oh, absolutely. I'm a village idiot. You're a genius. Do me a favor. Why don't you go out and play with your rapier-like wit out in the driveway, okay? Can I ask you something? Oh, God. Why are you protecting Di Kirby? Dixie, Cooney, Martin Chandler, whatever her name is. Why? She made you believe that she was dead for three years, Tad. Three years. They were crying over an empty grave. She was out there playing with the bad guys. Now she did some time in prison, and now she's home. And put all the trash in your lap. You're overstepping your bounds. You may want to rethink a couple of things. Let's start with Dixie. Why are you protecting her? Huh? She said nothing but lie to you ever since she came back in Dixie is just as much a victim as Julia. I will protect both of them. It's a nice thought. Yeah, well, it's better than the alternative. Because it's perfectly obvious to me. You'd sell Dixie to the devil to save Julia in a New York minute. Don't even think about sacrificing Dixie to the dragon for Julia. I wasn't planning on sacrificing anybody, but I want that letter or the name of the dragon. Let's say you get that name and you mention it to the wrong person. There's a really good chance that Dixie will end up dead. And if that happens, I'll kill you.